Uh, I've been barbering about seven years uh, and I started um, in Manchester City Centre. Yeah, I did a college, private college course up there, but uh, mainly most of my barbering skills are self-taught. A guy called Eddie Phelan who used to cut David Beckham's hair. Um, I used to follow him for a while and used to look at all David Beckham's different trends. I used to think, wow, that was like a cool job to be in. Um, and basically just, just took it from there. I started cutting my own hair and my mum noticed um, I had a bit of a flair for it. So she kind of forced me to go into the barbering game, which has, has paid off immensely. Yeah, um, I think we uh, do really precise fades in the shop. Um, that's kind of what I've built up my reputation around fading hair at the moment. Um, I've got uh, the Bombay Pompadour fade, which has just literally gone global. Um, every man and his dog's in the picture. Uh, it's been reposted 17 times on different Instagram pages. It's just, just gone madness. I've recently done um, a step-by-step -step guide for it with the Men's Hairdressing Federation. Um, and a lot of the, the key things with the haircut is how precise the fade is on it. Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. I teach, uh, I teach at weekends. Um, I have my own academy, uh, which I do on uh, Sundays and Mondays. Um, I just kind of want to get that off the ground at the moment and get it, get it up and running to help the younger generation of barbers. I just think the quality is not there with the UK clippers at the moment um, because I do a lot of fading and um, in the shop we're constantly using the clippers all the time. Uh, you're looking to get three months tops out of certain well-known brands. So um, I've always envied the American guys over there with the clippers that they use and to get my hands on a pair has just been like a dream come true really. Yeah, I do, I, mate, I was spending an absolute fortune, genuinely spending two, three hundred quid a month on equipment. Uh, a lot of it is to do with clippers. I must have like 10 to 15 different pairs. Um, and I was just literally changing them every 10 weeks, all the wires would break. So with the with the American ones, just just absolutely phenomenal at the moment. And um, the build quality and everything just totally different. They're cutting my time down, definitely cutting my time down. As I'd have to go over and over and over the fades, working down, working down. Uh, with the American ones, the, just the transition of the fade is just there instantly. Um, and people are, people are, they can tell, they can tell as well. And at the end of the day, it's about a business. If I can do the fade quicker with the equipment, it, it helps. It helps, definitely. I did, I did, uh, with the with a total different wrong transformer and they would make a crazy noise and the client would jump out of the chair. Um, but these new ones, mate, it's just absolutely perfect. It really, really is. And um, it's been like a godsend, really, to me. I love them. Again, that's why I interrupted you. I wouldn't even think twice about it. Just do it. Just get them. They're, they're, they're amazing. You've got, it just opens up a, no, a whole new market. You've got the fast feed, you've got the masters, you've got the um, Anders trimmers, you've got the Austin 97s, um, 76s. It just opens up a whole new market. It's just going to help you, it really is. You're constantly seeing all these amazing haircuts and barbershop connect thinking, wow, how do they do that? And it's all to do with American clippers, basically. Um, so now we've got them over here, which is what we've, what we've needed for years.